Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I'm telling you, man, the Genesis had some rocking, <laughs> rocking tune capability. What's up, everybody? It is Mike Mullis here again. Stinger NLG. Doing some more live streaming to Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and Earl week. As we get rocking, ready to go for Friday when Toe Jam and Earl back in the groove launches. Now, I decided I had an opportunity. I could have had an opportunity to probably get this early, get it early. But I want to support the developers. So I'm going to actually buy the game on Friday. You know, we're having Greg Johnson on the show on March 8th. And, you know, I really, you know, I'm such a big Toe Jam and Earl fan. Uh, you know, that, that as much as I would love to get a code because I got a code I want to stream it because I genuinely love the game and love what they're doing and so our back in the groove stream is probably going to come on Saturday because we have our show Friday night and uh but I'm going to I'm going to actually buy the game so get myself together here. <coughs> Excuse me. In the meantime, you listen to these lovely rocking tunes. So tweet this out. Let people know we're gonna play some play some fun try. In the meantime, just check out this lovely soundtrack. the first game to the original but I only did single player but I found a uh, I found a buddy who uh, is going to do uh, he's going to do the um, the multiplayer of the first game with me tomorrow Jump in. Thank you. 
Right, here we go. All right, let's play some Toe Jam with Earl. Panic on a Funkatron. So again, last night, we played the original. And I only played single player, but we're going to get some multiplayer in so that you can see the split screen. But today... And there we go. All right, we're gonna check the game settings again. So I found the games are in four by three. So if you watched the stream last night, you figured that out. So the Genesis is in four by three. But I found this. So, depending on how you look, I mean, that stretches it out too much. I got a big screen. But I found this mode dot by dot. And I think I'm going to use that. Because that's really... That's really the best look for the game. Because that's how it looks, you know, on a, on a television. Alright, so. Uh, once again, if you want to, you can do scan lines. If you want to make it look like a CRT television... You can smooth the image if you want it to kind of look like. So here's smoothing off. Here's smoothing on. You know what it might do tonight? See, the problem with smoothing on, it makes it a little, almost makes it look like you've got the old composite uh, yellow cable plugged in. Whereas, if you turn smoothing off, It kind of looks like you got an RGB cable, or uh, maybe even an S video cable plugged in. So we're gonna leave it at we're gonna leave the smoothing off. All right, wallpapers. Uh, I like there was a wallpaper. Oh, that's a nice one. I think I like that one. All right. And once again, this is uh, this is Xbox Live compatible, and I'm sure PlayStation Plus. I got it on the Xbox just simply because I knew a couple of people that might want to play it with me. So you can play this multiplayer over over the internet, over your Xbox Live or, or PlayStation. I'm looking forward to Koji Amaro back in the group being the same. And this is how I'm going to play with with a with a friend tomorrow. Might try to get my wife into this too, because my wife really did enjoy So Jam Earl. Alright, we're gonna go local mode. I was surprised when she said that too. Because I told her that we were having Greg Johnson on next week. She goes, I played Toe Jam Earl. Oh, I remember this intro. Here we go. Now, this game was totally different than the first game. Where the first game was that, uh, that semi-isometric, you know, kind of quasi, 3D quasi kind of game uh, that you saw last night. This is more of a straight-up side-scrolling platformer.
Oops, as you probably figured out, you know, they fixed their ship. Got back to Funkatron for the first game. This had a password on it. Unlike the first game where when you were dead, you were done. You had to start all over. Alright, so just a reminder of the controls. A is spunk move. B is throw and chop jars. C is jump, leap, swim. Okay. Can't be both. So we're going to go back to being just... You know what? I'm going to... I'm going to be Earl. And as you can see, they, they really did a good job redoing the... Uh, you know, redoing the theme song a little bit. Alright, so there's a jump. So again, as you can see, totally different game. So we have our funk scan so we can see this time where the gifts are. So this game kind of made use of the six button controller. Um, so we have our funk scan, our panic button, and our funk vacuum, which we don't have funk vacuum yet. So what we did, what we do is we shake the trees and all these things. All right. Now these presents didn't have the things that that the uh, first game did, so you know it's a little different. Press the button. There might be something under there. Yeah. Actually, what I think... Hold on. Because uh, what I think happened was... Let me look at the help real quick. The controls. Yeah, see this... Again, this is where the, the six button controller came in. So because there's only, you know, four face buttons and then the, the triggers and the RBLB, well just to show you the right button is Y, right trigger is Z, the left button is X, so X, Y, and Z. That's pretty much the best you're gonna get. Um and hitting the Y button is the equivalent of hitting the B button. Although I think what I'm going to do, make the Y button the actual Y button. So right button will be X. Y will be the right button. And right trigger will be Z. No. No, no, no. Hang on. 
Duh. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. Left button's going to be X. All right, that's my X. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to use the triggers instead. It's just a little bit easier on the fingers. So, let's get rid of all these for a quick second. All right, left trigger is going to be my X. Y is going to be Y. And right trigger is going to be Z. Go with me on this, trust me. So, we have our jar throwing, which is A, which is the... Uh... Oh, that's all weird. No, it's not. So, funk move is X, which is the equivalent of the A button. The equivalent of the B is A. Yeah, just like last night. Okay. And then the Y button is going to be Y, so trigger, trigger. Okay. All right, here we go. I got it. So no panic button. Oh, ow! All right. Oh, okay. So you see, you can see that it shows the bad stuff too. We don't right. want to do that. Ah, the funk scan and the funk move cost funk. So every time I do it, you're right. It should the, the funk goes away, or I lose the funk. That makes sense. Oh, the that's right. You can do tricks, and you can jump higher. Super jars. Bottom at the you're at the bottom of the screen, pointing to the nearest Earthling and flashes red when the Earthling is nearby. Ah, there it is. Hey. Oh. All right, I got one. Come here, girl. Where'd you go? Gotcha. Jumping with the C button is a uh, with the uh yeah it's just a little weird. There we go. Oh. Ah. 
Ahí See, this is why I didn't want to just run to the end of the level. So just so you see, I'll do it again. You have to make your way, you pick up the presents, and you go through those weird thingies. You shrink down. Fastest time possible. A little different than the first one, huh? Off with you. Sure thing. Yeah, got him. Hey, hey! 
Oi. Ah, press down to cover your eyes. I forgot about that. my chance of getting the That's right, Chica. The the blowfish. The underfuck. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. 
Probably was not supposed to do that. The Mac Daddy Melt. No. Oh, that's my panic button, I see. Cool. Oh, all kinds of weird places here. Of achievements here. What have I unlocked so far? All right, had a laughing fit. Went into panic mode. Blowfish found an earthling hidden in a plant. Use some coins, use the funk scan, snag some goodies from Sam. Okay, these are from the first one. All right, cool. Did I get them all? No. Thank you. 
Alright, there's four, three more. Try to get that. Nope. Oh, oh, oh. Aha. Okay. Awesome, five funk. All right, so I got plenty of. Plenty of funk for funk scan and stuff. Not fair at all. It's all over. Thank you. 
Look at serious. That's right, you duck down and not awesome. You go as far as you can. Might be one way to do it. I've already been to the under funk. I'm not going to show you guys again. I don't think there was anybody. all suck it. You and a little dog, too. Good lord. Alright. I don't know what that one is. 
Ah, five presents out of a single tree. All right. This is the way they're telling me to go down. Part of the problem is, once again, the C button is my C button is my jump button, and I feel like I should have probably set that better. Password. So, in the old days, I'd write this password down. <laughs> I'm taking a screenshot of it. <laughs> All right, let's take a quick look and see if that screenshot actually shows me the password. Because I will save that on my machine. Oh. Okay. And that's actually going to end up doing it for the stream since that just kicked in the copy protection on the Elgato and the Xbox. The dreaded HDCP. Uh, I forgot the minute you try to look at something or watch a stream or... Look at it at, at an achievement or something like that. The Elgato goes crazy. So, tell you what, hang on for just a second. 
Uh, we're going to power down the Xbox, power it back on. Let's see if that helps. So don't go anywhere. We're not leaving the stream. We're going to fix the problem, hopefully. Stupid. That's something else. That's, Microsoft's got to figure that out. All right, hang on. We're going to fire it back up. I might have to actually power cycle the Xbox. That's how stupid it gets when it does this. Oh, yeah. All right. Hold on a second, folks. Now the sad part is, is I'm going to have to go and use that stupid password now. All right, hold tight, folks. There we go. We got the picture back. Hold on, we're firing back up. Which means I'm going to have to log back in and everything. Uh, sorry, folks. I had totally forgotten that this happens. Microsoft really needs to fix that. They need to, they need to give us the option to turn that stupidness off. If I want to show, if I want to show you guys something on the system, I should be able to do that. I should be able to go to the community tab and. All right. Well. So now comes a slightly different issue. Let me see if that uploaded to. Xbox Live, I can probably get it on my mobile app. Alright, I tell you what, I'm going to try to do something real quick. It, <clears throat> if this does not work... Let's see. If this doesn't work, I will we'll cut it. He will cut the stream here. All I want to do... Nope, all I want to do... Just ah, darn it. <sighs> Sorry, folks. Microsoft done screwed up. 
Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to put the password in because I can't see the damn thing. And it hasn't uploaded it to Xbox Live, so I can't type it in. Oh, wait, here it is. All right, except now, <clears throat> now I'm going to have to reset the, pad the Xbox again. Hold on. Well, this is fun. All right, I'm resetting the Xbox again, but I did at least see the uh, screenshot upload up to Xbox Live. So now on my mobile device, I can I can see it. We can continue on. This is a big ass password too. So. Sorry about this, folks. We'll be back in just a minute here. <laughs> All right, let's try this one more time. We're not going to go looking at screenshots. Stupid, stupid, stupid mic. That was remind me, I need to try some more of these backward compatible games too, like the Orange Box, which I have. Um, I gotta get back to playing Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter too. Alright, let's go here. Yes. What? Load a save game? <gasps> I could have saved the game. Son of a bitch. Oh. You mean I could have saved myself from putting in the giant ass password I'm about to put in. You guys watching are going, this dude's a moron. Yes, yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I don't think things through. I didn't even realize you could save games here. Because this is just dumb right here. Having to put in a long, drawn out password.
Password accepted. Level three. I'm gonna save the game though. So next time I should be able to go back to this point instead of having to put a password in. <sighs> Somebody should have told me about that. I'm just saying. Ow. Shut up, girl. Check it. Okay, so multiple of those too. Hebo. Yeah, I want to know a secret. Tell me. You stand on a rock next to Chester, jump out, you find a secret path.
Look at that. That's a green floating mermaid. Plenty of fun. the boogeyman. What a band. Ooh. 
cool. Wanda's cave. Ow, ow. And I'm fried. Oh. A long way to get back to. Oh, 
sudden this game got hard. No. Alright. I think that's gonna do it for us for tonight. Although I do wanna see something. I'm gonna check and see. Yeah, there's that latest password, but if I go and load my save game. Yeah, it's gonna pop me back at where it should be. Okay. Cool. Which would be the beginning of the level, which is where I'd be anyway. I've already seen this. Yep. Give me a special power. What's the special power? So here's your first power. Until you leave this level, unlimited coins. Some of this is about memorization, this first part. 
to do that. And now that I know that I can save the game and save the save data. Oh my gosh. I was going to call it quits and then all of a sudden I'm getting in this game again. It just takes it just takes a minute to get used to things. You take me to Upper Funky Town. Town, town. I, I don't know where I'm at. Yum, yum, yum. 
feel like I'm cheating, but I'm not. Suck it, kids. Don't press that one. Oh, 
Alright. Alright. Alright, alright. Some food. Big Earl, eat some food. platform here I'm missing. Great. Uh, uh, uh. Stupid dog. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, I didn't mean. Oh, come on! All that for super jars.
Still not done. <coughs> still not done. There are still a bunch of many are left. Still not done. through this a little bit more than I've got to get to sleep, but I'm a little, you get hooked on this. Got him. Jeez. That is all of them. try to go back because I think I needed to go to Lawanda's cave. And since there's no more danger, let me see if I can make it back there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wanda, there you are. Sorry, big girl. Wanda likes toe jail. All the way to the left and down as deep as you can. If you can, you can see it if you swim back out of this cave. Okay. Forgot about that. Seeking. Totally forgot you could do that. That's why there were places where. Awesome. 
Alright, it's quarter after, it's quarter to two. I'm going to save it here. I'll come back to this another time, but I'm going to save this. And, uh... Let me try to get some two-player of this, too, if we can. But, uh, I think tomorrow we're going to try to get some, some multiplayer of the first game. And then, uh... Thursday, we might come back to this one, and then Friday will be our show at 9.30. Saturday, we're going to do Back in the Groove. Uh, and then uh, then on yeah Saturday and Sunday, we'll do some Back in the Groove and stuff. And then the week heading to... Um, the week heading to March 8th with Greg Johnson, we'll also add in some Toe Jam and Earl 3 Mission to Earth. So, that's it. Thanks for checking me out. Don't forget to check out uh, all the other content on here uh, from NLG and WDFC, and we will see you soon. Play on, gamers, and have a great night, morning, whatever it is that you are having right now.